Kay will be using a cane today. To ensure that the cane is the correct height for K, you want to make sure that the cane sits at the patient's greater canter to the floor. The patient's elbow should be flexed at 15 to 30 degrees as the cane handle should fit comfortably in the patient's hand. Have your patient move the cane 6 to 10 inches in front of them. Then have the patient move the weaker leg forward even with the cane. Instruct the patient to move their stronger leg 6 to 10 inches past the cane and then move the weaker leg forward even or slightly past the stronger leg. As the patient becomes more comfortable with the cane, encourage the patient to move the cane and the weaker leg at the same time so they strike the ground simultaneously. While standing next to the patient, have the patient take the crutch six inches from their foot to the right and six inches in front of the foot. Have the crutch lean against the patient's side with the crutch pad being three finger depths away from the axilla. The elbow should be positioned with a flex of 15 to 20 degrees. Walking with crutches using a three-point gait. Stand next to the patient. Have the patient begin in the tripod position with all the weight on their uninjured leg. Instruct the patient to move both the crutches and the injured leg forward. Then instruct the patient to move the uninjured leg forward. To climb stairs with crutches, instruct the patient to start at the bottom of the stairs in the tripod position. Hold the patient's gait belt securely. Have the patient transfer all the weight to the crutches and use the uninjured leg to step up to the first stair. Instruct the patient to straighten their knee on their uninjured leg and lift the body weight, bringing the crutches up to the injured leg stair. This sequence until you reach the top of the stairs. Descending stairs with crutches. Instruct the patient to start in the tripod position. Shift the body weight onto the uninjured leg. Have the patient bend the strong knee while moving the crutches and the injured leg to the stair below. Shift the body weight to the crutches and then bring the uninjured leg to the step. Continue until you reach the bottom of the stairs.